Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Creative for Chess. So, there are many awesome ways as to creating music cover designs, and many people find it difficult. Many designers find it difficult to combine colors when it comes to designing great music covers. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you how you can combine colors in music cover designs and also doing an actual music cover design that you can learn from. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. The file size that I use is in inches. If you know me for very long of time, I've been using inches for my music cover. So I use 8 by 8 inches for my designs and the resolution is always set to 300 and other settings are the same. So click create. Now this is the reference of the design we want to do. How I combine the colors, how I uh, work with every single color. Now. Speaking of colors, if you want to get color ideas for your designs, I would recommend you should go to this website, colors.co. It has millions of thousands of colors that you can work with and is much more good to use. So I can check it under the video description. The link is there so you can check it there. If you want to download the files to follow along, I have them linked under the video also with the PSD file. So now let's start with this. First things first is to import our um, image color, our image layer. Sorry, I say image color, image layer. Now, when you want to work with colors on a particular design, make sure that the, the images are in black and white. If you know how to use a colored image and a multicolor type of design it will be advisable that you turn them to black and white because it will help the colors come out much more brighter and reduce color confusion so now this is our image so i'm going to position it this way now we already know what kind of frame um um what kind of concept we want to depict with the design this, this is our reference and this is what i want to do now First things first, let's import our colors. So this is where the color is. Let's drag and drop on Photoshop and then press enter. Now let's reduce this a bit. Now the first thing you need to do is to pick the colors that you want it's not it's not compulsory that you should use this but well, funny enough we will not follow that reference because following some kinds of reference sometimes can be, uh, reduce your imagination and your ability to create concept i always advise this when you want to design go beyond what you see go beyond what you what you are uh, currently seeing so now Instead of us trying to create colors from this, I'll just use this particular color palette for our design. Let me show you how. Press Ctrl J to duplicate and then turn off the first one. Ho click on it and then hold out on your keyboard. Drag this to be very big. Mind you, I'm picking from the dark to the slightly lightest. So bring this down and then press enter. Let's bring this to the top. Now bring this, make sure that this particular um, numbers are not really showing. So how, how can we fix that? Now create a new, click on selection tool, select this particular path and then press con, uh, click on it and then click on layer via copy. Now go to your transform tool and then bring it down, you cover it, you to give you something like this so you just cover it. Then you can repeat the same style for it. Click on your selection to take this part and then click on it. Make sure you're always selecting the original. This is or better still, you can right click. Make sure this um, selection is covering the text. Right click and then come to the uh, color palette layer. Right click and then rasterize it. Then come here, right click, fill content i will click ok to fill it up but it's filling wrongly so let's just do it our own way click on the eyedropper tool here 
by pressing I on your keyboard, select this color, go to your brush tool, paint it off. Do the same thing. M is this um, shortcut for selection. Click on it. Click I to select your colors and then press B to brush them off. Press Ctrl D to deselect them. M for selection. Draw. And then hold I to pick your color. Use B to paint it off. So repeat the same process for each and every one of them. So let me quickly cover them up. Don't always be limited by what you see. Oh, sorry. Is it wrong? Yeah. So now we have this. Now let's expand this layer a bit so that that white does not show. Increase like this and increase it a bit and then drop it down. Now press enter. Now we have this color palette. We want to work with exactly how these colors are to form our own design. So bring this music cover colors here down so that the image can show. Now right click on the color. Let me name it color so that it will not confuse me. Color. Right click on it. Convert it to smart object. Now go to filter. Go to noise. Go to add noise. And then set your noise amount to 12 and press enter now zoom in we have this you can see that there are textures around the color layer now to just understand how you can use the important colors that are relevant for me i went ahead and i'm using this full um, details of the colors here on this particular design so now for choosing your colors, there are two metrics. You use the percentage rule. There's 70%, 10%, 20%, 60%, 10%, 30%. They are using that percentage to judge the amount of colors that will be used on that particular design. But in this case, I'm using the whole colors as a background for my design. So let's move forward. Now we can add let's now i'm talking about music music cover designs i'm not really talking about colors now so now we can add our concept except from this particular kind of concept what kind of concept can we create that will make it much more better than this one and let's go back to the the file and come let me zoom out now let's add the the title of the song make sure that the title is under the image so go to your text to by pressing t on your keyboard set our color to white the text color to white and then write our text so the name of the song is far away then click ok go to your move to and set to the center like this now now we have our text here at the, at the top at the top here this is the title of the song let's replicate that same effect that we have there press ctrl j to duplicate and then bring the text down like this so let's put this one beneath the image so click on the fire away copy drag it under the image and then set your fill to zero double click on the fire away copy and then click on the stroke set the stroke to about let's see six percent is okay so click on six and then change the color to total white click ok now we have this as a design let's bring down that um, fire with text beneath now this is our design let's add the artist name her name is Kimberly it's a fictional music cover anyway so there is no specific name I just named it Kimberly anyway so hope the name is not bad uh, so Kimberly i'll leave the name in small letters but it starts with the capital letter anyway but in small letters not as a capital letter i don't want to use a um, signature font i just like this like this so now let's add some props to our design so that the design can spark what are props props are elements or things that you can add in a particular design so that to come out 
and pop you know when they say make your design pop so let's make it pop now i will use some shapes and some words that i use in music so that it can look much more like the music cover so double click and um, control and uh, double du duplicate sorry duplicate the kimberly text and then name it ep01 in capital letter ep.01 or ep.1 yeah and then drop it at this particular aspect this particular position here make sure that it is in the same line as the far away text they are in the same line this is guide so i'm just showing you that now the name too should be on the same bottom area now let's add some few things also the producer name um that's like let's say produced by co real then change our font to montserrat let's not repeat one particular font could you move to come on, let me cancel this then resize it a bit to something like this press enter bring it to the top like this now it's coming up it's coming up and let's add a final touch i would love that this particular image is a glitched kind of tech um, image go to your image right click and then convert it to smart object again because it's already a smart object press ctrl j to duplicate go to your move to by pressing v use your arrow key to shift to the right twice and then double click on the image copy turn off the red channel these are channels for rgb channels so turn off the red and then click ok you see now it's giving us this spooky kind of feeling and i like it if you turn it off turn it on then press ctrl j to duplicate that one at the top move it to the go to your move to and move it to the left and then double click on the second one turn on the green channel and let only the blue channel to be on click ok and then right click and zoom out it will give us this feel of you know it's this accent of ancient kind of movie uh, music now finally the fire we copy that we added this outline here right click on it and convert it to smart object then go to your filter go to blur go to motion blur and set it to zero let the angle to be zero increase the distance to something like that so click ok now we are adding some spooky effect that is making the design come up very well thank you so much for watching kindly hit the like button to if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button so that more people can begin to see this video and without any further ado I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace.